People are often asking me why am I using Yarn and not NPM, is Yarn better than NPM and what is actually the difference between them? This is why in this video you will learn answers for all these things. And first of all, we must dig a little bit deeper inside history of JavaScript package managers. And actually, when you are installing Node, you are getting npm out of the box. This is why here inside console I can write Node minus version and npm minus version. And actually, with Node you are getting Node package manager. This is totally fine. This is why actually it is the most popular package manager because it is coming there out of the box. And actually, long ago we didn't have any alternative to npm. This is why all people simply used it. At that time, npm had three main problems. First of all, installation of packages like npm install was really slow and long. Secondly, it didn't leverage caching enough. This is why your next installation won't be much faster than your first installation. And the third problem is that conflicts inside log files were really difficult to solve. And a lot of people submitted issues inside npm and actually wanted to change something. But core team decided not to update anything because there was no alternative. And then after some time Facebook created an alternative to npm, which is called Yarn. As you can see here is an official website of Yarn, yarnpackage.com. And actually they made a really good job. At that moment it was much faster, much safer, more reliable and leveraged caching much better. And the main point to understand is that Yarn is not an alternative to NPM registry. If you don't know what is NPM registry, this is a special place where you can find all NPM packages, which actually means Yarn also uses NPM registry. So it's not like you have completely different place from where all packages are downloaded. So actually what is changed, this is just a wrapper, how it is cached and install all your packages. Even node module structure stays almost the same. Another important problem was that there was no log file out of the box with npm, which actually means you simply use npm, everything is fine, but your dependencies are not locked. And there was npm shrink wrap file, which was really pain to use. Inside yarn you are getting yarn log out of the box. This is why in all my projects you can simply see yarn log file, which actually means I am using here yarn package manager. If you see in your project package log, it means that npm was used there, and you must install all packages, not with yarn, but with npm. And actually lots and lots of people jumped from npm to yarn, because it was much faster and more reliable. This is why after some time npm decided to improve things. And they copied a lot of stuff from yarn and really improved npm by itself. This is why nowadays npm and yarn classic or yarn version 1 are almost the same. And it doesn't really matter what you are using npm or yarn. You are getting log files in both of them out of the box, caching is really nice in both of them and packages are installed really fast inside. So actually for you it doesn't matter if you are using npm or yarn, this is just a matter of preference. You just must remember that inside project you must first check what log file you have there, because without usage of correct package manager you will install latest packages and it might be that your project is not working. But it is not all. Actually we have Yarn Classic or Yarn version 1 and in the official website you can see this line, important, this documentation covers modern version of Yarn. And actually it covers Yarn version 2 and here is Yarn version 1, you can jump to classic yarnpackage.com. And actually most people are using Yarn 1 as an alternative to npm package manager. The question is what is Yarn 2, is it better than Yarn 1 and what is the difference? And actually Yarn 2 is not just a new version of Yarn, this is completely new approach to the package manager. And actually the main problem is the node modules folder. In every single project you can see how many packages are installed here. And actually there is no way to make it faster, because it works by simply copying every single package from one place to another, you can't really make a copy process faster. This is why inside Yarn 2, which is also called Berry, we have a feature which is called Plug and Play. As you can see here, this is a special feature where we don't use node modules anymore. And in this page you can read why node modules is bad, and I think you understand why it is bad. This is just simply a super huge folder with nested packages, and actually we have different versions of the same packages. This is why they are fixing node modules by completely using a different approach, which is called Plug and Play. 
And the most important part here, what projects already can use Yarn 2. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of them. For example, if you're writing React applications, create React apps starting from version 2 already supports Yarn 2. And a lot of other popular projects are also supporting Yarn 2 out of the box. But there are still some projects where you can't use Yarn 2. For example, it's not implemented yet inside Angular, inside Flow, React Native and so on. So you have some projects, but not all, where you can't use Yarn 2. And actually, if you don't use any generator or some CLI, like for example Angular, you are totally fine and you can use Yarn 2. And the most interesting question is of course what is faster. And actually here are the results. So here I have some numbers where we can compare NPM, Yarn and Berry, which is Yarn 2. As you can see here is no cache, which means first installation. And actually it is not faster and in Berry it is even slower. Here is cached installation, which means after you installed all packages at least once on your machine. And inside NPM it is 60 seconds, Yarn 30 seconds, this is exactly why I prefer Yarn, and inside Berry it is twice less, it is just 14 seconds. And here is reinstall of all these packages. Here you have 28 seconds, 1 second Yarn, and 6 second Berry. This is why I think that in future more and more projects will support Yarn 2 and it will be even faster. And of course after some time NPM will implement something similar and it will have the similar speed. I hope that this video brings you clarity regarding package managers inside JavaScript. And if you are interested in learning 5 most popular coding tasks for JavaScript interview make sure to check this video also.